I was first drawn to music when I was about seven years old, and I visited my grandmother's house, and she had this piano, and my uncles used to play it, and I used to be fascinated by it. And I started writing lots of songs, and just kind of became obsessed with it. Uh, it was cool winning the Brit. Obviously, winning the Brit Award, I never really dreamt I was going to be a winner at that stage. But it was, it was very, it was very fun, and um, very enjoyable. I don't know, Matt. What makes the hummingbird a good fit for us? Because we both play it on stage. Um, it's got. It's a very versatile guitar, isn't it? The hummingbird's great to tour with because we get to. Because uh, it's. Because it, you know, it's very travelable and. It's just a really nice guitar. Um, very nice guitar. Yeah, I guess I, I grew up listening to a lot of piano players, but also, you know, Bob Dylan, Leonard Cohen, and artists like that. But um, I also love like Led Zeppelin and. Um, the Rolling Stones and bands like that. Um, but you, you're a fan of lots of guitarists, aren't you, Max? What, what? Yeah, I started listening to people like Freddie King, Eric Clapton, and BB um, King, and everyone like that. And then kind of, and then also the Stones, Led uh, Beatles. George Harrison is one of my favourite guitarists. And they just Gibson's just an amazing company. I, I mean. I remember when I was like 15 and I didn't have any money, I dreamed, I dreamed of having a Gibson. Uh, the name and the fact that there's so many amazing players that played them, when you pick one up and play, you know, a good Gibson is like no other guitar. It's pretty, um, they're pretty unique, they sound incredible and they're built really well. And I think once you buy one, you can't stop buying it.